Okay, right, we're doing a fuel filter replacement on a Rover 25. Um, we've replaced it. Now, if you think why well, I didn't do the video while I replaced it, it's because I don't, I've watched other videos and we're fairly okay with doing bits on cars. And a couple of videos made a big deal about this. In fact, it probably took us about five minutes, if that, to sort this out. Right, so let's go through it real simple. You need a socket or a spanner to disconnect the earth strap in your battery. On here I've got a 13mm socket or spanner. You undo that, pull that off. Step one. Okay? Step two is to unclip this and pull that out. So you unclip it and pull that out. Step three. From the bottom of your hand and the top here, push this up and it'll come away. And this is the carbon filter. So hand at the bottom here, just push up and wiggle and it will come out. It's just on like a rubber dovetail joint pushed into a metal bracket here. Okay, step three. Okay. Step four. You'll need, ideally, a 14mm open-ended spanner, a short one, and a 19mm spanner, okay? When you're doing this job, the shorter the better. I haven't got a short 19mm, so I'll choose what I've got. And then you want, uh, I think this is 8mm. Um, could be an open-ended or just an 8mm spanner, okay? The 8mm spanner is for this nut here. Yeah, oops, wrong one. Okay, and that's to loosen that off in a minute. Okay. The 19mm spanner fits on there, and the 14mm spanner fits on there. What you do, next step, I think it's around step five, loosen that off, let some petrol come out. Have a rag sort of wrapped around it or nearby just to absorb anything, yeah? That releases the pressure from the fuel tank, yeah, and fuel lines, okay? Once it's released the pressure, put that on there, and your 14 mil on here, just undo this. And you turn this towards the car, okay? Towards the car, that undoes it, yeah? So, so like that, okay? The bottom one is just the same. The reason you need a smaller stubby spanner, not a big long one like this, is when you're undoing it at the bottom, it doesn't get in the way of anything here too much. The big one's alright because it just holds that there. So you slide that onto the there at the bottom and your 40 mil onto the same thing. These are the same bottom top, but this time when you're undoing the 14 mil nut, which is brass coloured, you turn it towards yourself, pulling it towards me. Or, yeah. Okay. Once those are off and loosened, and they're out, undo the bracket bolt here with your 8 mil nut, and literally, just pull this out, don't undo this all the way, just pull this filter out. Right, here's the old filter. You see what I'm talking about now with a 19. <coughs> yeah. yeah. It goes a certain way, doesn't it, as well? Yeah, so it's got arrows, and that arrow should always be pointing at the top, depending yeah. what replacement filter you've got. Yeah. So the fuel comes in from the bottom, <coughs> comes to the top, yeah? yeah. There's an arrow on ours, it's not the same as this, but it's similar. <coughs> okay, so there's your, like that, at the bottom. And when you're undoing it, you're doing like that yep. at the bottom. When you're at the top. Yeah, okay. Right, when you're popping it back in, so you're taking your old one out, slide this one back into the bracket at the bottom and the top. Position it and do it up finger tight. 
the reason I say do it finger tight using just your fingers is you know you haven't cross threaded it when you've done it as tight as you can with your fingers just put your spanners back on 19mm on the crow bit yeah and then you want to tighten this way yeah the opposite way you took it out from yeah don't over tighten just so it's tight when that's all back in and it's tightened up wiggle that back in that bracket you'll see what I mean this bit you've taken out put your clip back on and that is done and literally it took us five minutes obviously you need to reconnect your battery 13 mil yeah then what you need to do is prime the fuel back up again so you do you go in your car you turn your ignition on three times and you press that pedal twice turn the ignition off turn the ignition back on press that pedal twice again turn the ignition off turn the ignition on press that pedal twice again turn it off whatever start your vehicle right we had no trouble so some reason couldn't start the vehicle in fact the longest time of this is and what I will say is that when I initially loosened the old one there was a little bit of fuel coming out and we were just doing an experiment to see if there's a fuel flow difference so we did undo that one again with everything disconnected you see how much fuel came out the top and it was substantially more which means they do actually get blocked and it's worth replacing it the car sounds a lot better and a lot responsive 60 some miles uh, and this is done sort of just under 70,000 miles um, but it was definitely worth replacing it how much is this? Uh, you get from Euro car parts and you get a discount or so I think it's about I think about three pound it cost me. Um, yeah, that, that was the make of it. Crossland. Crossland, uh, fuel filter. It did come with these, but we, it's obviously universal, can't, didn't need them. We'll hang on to these for something else. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there, there it is there. Crossland F30378 Rover. Yeah, compatible with. And obviously, just check for leaks, but. Yeah, as, long as, you, as, long as, you, as long as you put the pipes back in with your fingers to start with, nice and easy, just take your time, you won't have any problems. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Yeah. Thanks for watching.